Um, we are learning about the last branch of the MOMAP, which is the volume branch, where it helps us to see the relationship between volume and mass um, and also volume and moles. So Avogadro studied the volume of gases and he found that um, even though the particles had different sizes, and we know this from molar mass, they are so far apart that their sizes actually become negligible, negligible which means that they don't matter. And um, so with that in mind, he came up with what we now call molar volume. So STP is known as standard temperature and pressure, and that tells us standard conditions that we can measure gases in. And so this standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius and standard pressure is one atmosphere. With that, Avogadro figured out that one mole of gas, which we know one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liters. So when we have 22.4 liters of the gas, we know that is one mole of the gas. So that number is known as molar volume. And this number is what we use on the mole map to help us switch between. So if we look at mole map, maybe. Um, So with the mole map, um, then we've got our 22.4 going between volume and moles. And volume is measured in liters, okay? So with that in mind, we're gonna do one example um, from the notes here. So we wanna determine the volume in liters of 0 0.60 liter moles of sulfur dioxide. How about you? Okay, so um, we start with moles because we have moles in their beginning number and we are going to travel to and when we reach the volume because that's what that is for determining the volume in meters. So I'm going to put meters there because I know that's my unit. Okay. Then we put our number from the problem over one, 0 0.60 moles over one. And then we look at the mole map to see how we go from the mole circle up to the volume circle. And that tells us to put 22.4 liters in the numerator and one mole in the denominator. Okay? So then that way, moles cancel. And then to solve, we multiply across the top. And um, so when you multiply, you should get the answer of 13.44. Now to round it, we need to look back at our original number here, and um, that is going to be two significant figures. The zero at the beginning does not count because it's at the beginning of the number on the left side, and there's nothing that's like there's not a non-zero digit before it, so it doesn't count. But the zero at the end does count because it's after the six and it's after the decimal. Okay. So to keep two significant figures, we are going to take thirteen only liters as our answer, okay? So I like this part because this part of the mole map is the easiest part of the mole map. And um, if you have trouble, there's another example in the note packet, but video five uses this with the rest of the mole map for problems. And so um, we're gonna go more into it there. 